Hey guys, I want to welcome you back to the Sensu Pop channel. We are going to be talking about this card itself. I think it kind of warrants a little bit of discussion. Um, yeah, so let's let's do this. This Unison SS4 Gogeta powers connection is simply, simply incredible. It has the best in-game search ability for red because when on play, you look up the top three as long as it is a red card, you can put it into your hand. It doesn't matter whether it is it an extra card unison card or battle card it does not matter whether it, the energy cost as long as it is red it doesn't even need to be mono red as long as it is red you are able to put it into your hand it has a plus two ability incredible because you play a, a, a one drop you just play a one drop battle card it, it it's not even restricted just a one drop battle card in rest mode with its skills intact and it is incredible difficult to remove because two costs comes in at two markers immediately it gets a plus two it goes up to th uh, four markers it has a very easy minus four activation that transform this guy into a 30k double striker take note on battle so what you can do here is you can swing and if your opponent negates it you can do the plus two ability if not you can do a swing and if your opponent doesn't negate it and you have four markers you want to go for the game you can just do a minus four it is incredible that this is not a activate main it is a activate battle so it's it's just that extra goodness right and it has no locks to any traits or leader so your leader does not need to be a slug army or a saiyan or anything as long as you can pay that red to red you can play that plus two it's also not locked to any traits as long as it's a one cost red battle card you can play it the intended interaction is to play it with the ss4 vegeta and ss4 goku deck Play all this one drop, which is four drop, which is a one drop in your hands in rest mode just to draw the cards. The skills need to be intact because they do something when they are used in a combo. So that is the inter intended interaction. However, on, on lunch itself, if we have already seen some stuff that it's already uh, that Panda already started to do something about this. The unintended interaction that is Broly Crown of Retribution. This card has been around for quite some time. It has always been accepted that this is a very, very powerful card, a very good card. However, it is also situational and you have to commit one resources for you to play it and your opponent can commit one resources or two resources to counter the effect of this card. However, what sets it over the top is when this card can be free played. So when this card is free played in rest mode, we don't care. This is a 4K. It's not in be intended to be swing anyways. You get the effect and your opponent has to commit their resources to deal with this card. This card is already the first victim of SS4 Gogeta Powers Connection because this card, which I want to emphasize has been exist in existence for quite some time, has already been eroded. In the latest reprint, some shop eagle eye people has already known that this card has been eroded to three or more energy. So uh, I'm not sure whether it's going to do this card any good. However, I would want to argue that the problem, it's actually not this card. The problem is SS4 Gogeta Powers connection and this it's still not the most egregious part about the unison the unison has the best in-game search ability for red it has a incredible plus two ability an incredible plus four ability it it is gonna be staying on the board and it has the ability to gain marker like there is no tomorrow the most egregious part about this whole thing is that when this card exists why would you want to play other unison in a red deck um, there are some red decks that still uses their own unison because they have a very unique mechanics but however a lot of red decks seriously you are just gonna play, play SS4 uh, unison for example Jiren Blind Destruction with the unison that comes with the Topo Force of Obliquity of Obliquity of Obliquity of Obliteration sorry about that um, the, the plus one this is a one cost 5k plus one and this card, it's this deck, it's a spirit boost deck, so it needs a lot of marker. Trust me, swap up Topo and just play SS4 Gogeta Powers Connection. Topo plays a one cost in rest mode at the end of the turn with the plus one. 
your SS4 Gogeta ASA Blast 2 that plays your one drop in rest mode immediately. So you will even circumvent the end of turn ability and you can evolve immediately during your turn. So this is Jiren D Adventure. All this one drop you can just play. A Kushu, you can just play one drop in rest mode just like that. Don't even need to wait until the end of the turn. Your spirit boost when you need it, SS4 has a lot of markers. You need aggression, SS4 has the markers to do a minus four. So and when he's being played, you have the best in-game search ability. Why would you want to play Turbo Force of Obligation anymore? Obliteration. And it is not just Jiren. For example, Machine Mutant. You want to play your 1-drop in rest mode? Yeah, just play free play once per turn for you to draw one. Why not? Uh, if you want to play Union Absorb Baby, Baby, Parasite Tyranny, just play it. 1-drop just like that. Phew, you can play it. And then the Dodia enter the fray for Frieza Swap. Why not? You play this card, you set up your Frieza Spaceship just like that. I know not a lot of people play this card, but you get what I mean. The deck, the, the unison itself has a lot of decks that just gets this increase and uh, all this unison that comes along with all these decks. Uh, I'm not too sure if you're going to be playing it anymore. And uh, most importantly, Planet Vampa. It's a Planet Vampa on steroids. I know Planet Vampa plays on the, in a deck, but, and, but it costs you one life. As is for Gogeta, plays it from your hand. It's a swap deck. That means that one cost it's gonna jump back to your hands. It's not that when you play it, it's gone. It's gonna be swapped back into your hand every single turn. You can't swap. Just play, uh, just Planet Vampire for free. So that is the biggest problem with this card. It is not that it is too good, it is too generically good. Uh, I mean, why are you playing Topo Unison anymore when you're playing Swap? Why are you not playing this Unison? This, this is definitely getting in. Machine Mutant, this is definitely getting in. Moving forward, Panda has to be very careful with all these one drops that they are gonna be creating if the Blast 2 uh, stays intact because that Blast 2 it's just so so good in so many decks even if your deck does not have the swap mechanics or this one drop that you can play for free just to do this such a you know those such a one drops which most deck has it this card can just do it it's just just that good and it is not me just talking out of nowhere just punching in the air and said that oh this is just going to be hit for being a little bit too generic um, we have seen this precedence before that when a card gets too generic that it is played in most decks and people just don't look at other options anymore we have SS4 Bardox and Secret Identity Marseille and these are two unison uh, two overwhelm cards that are just really really good I mean when they exist why are you playing something else Hey guys, so this is what I tried to highlight with this video. Maybe the thumbnail might be a little bit clickbaity and stuff like that, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, I'm not saying that this card it is going to be hit or something like that, but I really think so. It's just the plus two ability. It's a, this card overall. It's amazing. The search ability, the plus two ability, the minus four ability with the fact that it is so generic, I think. Uh, it is going to be played in a lot of red decks and unless Bandai wants to take care of every single red battle cards that is one cost moving forward be careful with that or oh, they design a way better unison card that we won't play with this card anymore that's way more generic than this one or something that's going to hit be hit with this card so that we go back to play our topo and uh, baby parasite and stuff like that so that is why i think that this card might be hit hey guys so we have come to the end of this video if you like this video i really appreciate it and give this video a like subscribe if you want to support me and the channel the like it's especially important with this video because this is the type of video that i hesitate making because it really brings out the the, the, the the more nasty side of the comment. Because some people, I really don't think that they are uh, objective. They're just going to comment in the description or when I post it on Facebook and stuff like that. that hey, you're wrong. You're stupid. And stuff like that. And it's, it's personal attack and stuff like that. Just because I dare to touch one card that they bought it with their money. And uh, yeah. And not being objective at all. Alright, so really appreciate the like, really appreciate the subscribe for this video. Uh, I'm very active on Instagram. Follow me down on Instagram. Link should be up here, down here. Stay safe, stay healthy. Enjoy playing the Dragon Ball Super Card game. I really hope you guys are okay. See you guys in the next video, alright?